Hey everyone, my name is Adam Archer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Gerber Complete. This is a product that I saw on videos from Bla or SHOT Show 2019, and I instantly thought I have to buy it as soon as it comes out. So, as soon as I saw it um, on Amazon, I purchased a Gerber Complete. I will have a link to the product in the description below, and this is the green or the sage green variation. They do have two different versions. I believe it is the silver and I believe bronze, um, although the sage green is the only variation currently available. So you may be wondering, what is this? This is basically a utensil set or um, camping utensils, um, as well as kind of a multi-tool. So what you get here is a peeler can bottle opener, as well as I think kind of a flat head screwdriver, a spoon, a fork, a spatula, as well as a set of tongs. So how does the tongs work? You actually take the spatula and either the fork or the spoon, let's use the spoon, and you just slide it in just like that, and you have a set of tongs. Very easy to use right there. And you can use the fork also if you prefer to have more pointed tongs. Uh, just a very innovative design. I think this is probably one of the first products of Gerber that I've shown on this channel. Uh, one of the things that people probably won't like is the fork and spoon are made out of aluminum. They are anodized aluminum, so it will be a little bit safer in case you are worried. Um, versus a lot of people like to use titanium um, for their materials instead. Um, this does keep the price down a little bit more. Um, MSRP is at $28. Um, if you were going to throw titanium onto these, um, it would be considerably more. One of the positives, though, is this is lightweight. Um, on the package, it says two or less than 2.5 ounces, and that is correct. When I measured it, it was gain uh, 2.3 ounces, and that was with all of these tools. Um, let's see on the back. So the spatula is made out of a high temperature nylon with a silicone overmold. And I really do like spatulas with some silicone on them. Um, and that just makes it easier when frying eggs or something. You can just get under them so much easier um, with a little bit of silicone on there. Uh, especially since it is bendy when you have a nylon that's not flexible really at all. Um, going over to the fork and spoon, these are pretty thin aluminum, but um, really messing with it, it doesn't feel like it's as thin as it is. Um, and I can kind of explain what I'm saying so you can see just how thin this is. However, it is um, kind of contoured so that it feels thicker in your hand. So you have that little um, rounding of it, as well as they put this bumpy texture on the handle, so you can feel that and it actually feels like it's thicker. Um, the amount of area for the spoon, as well as how deep it is, you get a good amount of liquid or uh, a good amount of food you can put on that spoon, as well as on the fork, um, you're going to probably be eating a lot of rice and that type of stuff that a more spoon-like fork works a little bit better. Um, to kind of give you a size comparison, um, I believe these are just at, I think it's seven and a half inches right there uh, from the tip of the fork to the very end. So yeah, seven and a half inches for both the fork and spoon and then the spatula, I believe is a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, just at eight inches. Uh, when you compare that to some other spork options, so we have a Vargo Titanium, so that is a popular spork. We have probably the most popular, which is the Light My Fire spoon and fork. And then you have a GSI telescoping spork. So you can kind of compare these. these it, this is the longest variant right there. Um, this is actually the... Gerber Complete is actually replacing a couple pieces of gear from my um, backpack. 
um, it is replacing the set of tongs that I use. Um, I had gotten these from Walmart for just a couple dollars. The only problem is that the aluminum was starting to come through the silicone at the tip right here on both sides. So I wasn't really liking that. So I wanted something a little bit more heavy duty. And this kind of fits that bill. And it also is replacing my little utensil set this by Boker. You can see that it had a fork, spoon, and knife. Um, but on this, it does have the fork and spoon, but no knife. It does have a serrated edge on the spatula. So that'll work rather well. Uh, one of the things that I've kind of left out so far is the little multi-tool. Um, a lot of people have made fun of this, but I actually kind of like it. Um, it has both a bottle and can opener, and then a vegetable peeler right there for your vegetables, potatoes, or whatever. Um, the can opener works relatively well. I've tried that already, as well as the bag opener. So it has a little serration right there. Um, where you can open up your uh, mountain house bags or whatever. Uh, one of the things you will want to be aware of, this coating on here is going to wear off pretty quickly when you are opening cans. So uh, to put this away or put it in its closed format, you have to have all three of these tools uh, stacked on top of each other and then they just slide in the back right here. One thing to note is you can't drop one of these tools and put it away still. It will just fall apart. If you take out one of these, these will not retain. So you do have to use all three. Or you have to put all three in the back of the spatula in order to keep this together. Um, but otherwise, as long as you aren't ultra, ultra light, that should not be too big of an issue. To, I think I've already shown this, turning it into the um, tongs, you can use either the fork or the spoon. So, works very well. Um, you can have it pretty high up. You do have to have your finger kind of a little bit farther down so that you can get that leverage. But there you go. That is Gerber Complete. I believe they did come out with another thing called the Gerber Devour, which was a spork, as well as had a multi-tool with an actual kickstand, I believe, um, so that your utensils did not touch the ground or the table. Um, let's see if there's anything else in here. Um, it does come with a 25-year warranty, um, which is nice. Um... I think that's just about everything. Um, anyways, let me know what you guys think of this tool. I thought it was awesome, so I purchased it right away. Um, you'll probably be able to buy it for, I think I sell one of them for like $25, but it won't be in stock for like another month. Um, anyways, I will have the procs in the description below in case you're wanting to see it. Um, or in, in case you're wanting to buy some. Um, kind of showing it in a pot. So one of the, the pots that I purchased for camping, I've actually been using cast iron almost every single, well, every single time I've gone camping recently, I've just been using cast iron. So I haven't been able to use this uh, zebra pot yet, but if you were wanting to use the um, Gerber Complete in that, you'll fit perfectly well. As you can see right there, any of these can reach the bottom and get into corners really well. You can see these are somewhat squared off on the ends, so you'll be able to scrape corners very easily, get the last piece of food out, which is always a pain, um, including on some of these, they're a little bit too rounded, so on some of these pans, you can't actually get that last piece of food to properly clean your pots and pans. Um, which you shouldn't have that problem when you have a little bit more of an edge on here as well as with silicone It will kind of morph to be able to clean that up. Anyways. Thank you for watching. can't believe I did a 10-minute video on a um, Pair of utensils. Oh one of the things uh, negative That I noticed. Um, I don't think I actually mentioned this yet. This is actually the second take of this video 
that I noticed was when you put this away, just like this, there's actually two things, both regarding this multi-tool. It can actually slide out one of the issues. Um, I kind of wish they had a stopper like they do on this side so that the multi-tool couldn't just be pushed out the bottom. Other issue regarding the multi-tool, it can it has a little bit too much movement and the can opener, that's sharp. So you can kind of hurt yourself a little bit right there, but not too big of an issue, just something that may grab your gear um, if you just throw it into your bag. Could puncture your bag, I don't know. Um, just don't put it next to a water bladder. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think. I do actually care. I like comments. I haven't been gay many. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day.